Hi everyone, Matt Weatherly here from Public Sector Personnel Consultants with an overview of the classification and compensation study that we are going to embark on. As our name suggests, Public Sector Personnel Consultants, this is all that we do. We do salary surveys, job description writing, and salary plan design for cities, for counties, for colleges and universities, uh, all told just over 1,100 public employers throughout the United States we've had a chance to partner with. Uh, decent amount of work going in New Mexico. We're currently in the middle of or just wrapped up uh, studies for Rio Rancho, Las Cruces, Sierra County, uh, Luna County. All that qualifies us to do is ask good questions. You know, what factors influence the college's ability to recruit and retain? Um, what employers do we compete with to uh, ensure that we are able to attract staff? Uh, more importantly, where your opportunities to participate in this exercise begin, uh, does your job title make sense? Is your job description reflective of your actual job duties and responsibilities? I believe it's been better than 10 years since the college has embarked on uh, an organization-wide review of job descriptions and salary survey. We'll be working on that over the next probably four to six months. But that begins this month. We've set aside the month of August for you to review your job description and complete a job questionnaire for us to ensure that the information that we use as the basis of our market comparisons, as well as the basis of our findings and recommendations uh, is rooted in what you actually do when you're at work. A couple of notes about the study that I think are important to say kind of upfront this is something that is you know, very, very commonly performed in the public sector, somewhere probably every five to seven years, uh, 10 years certainly on the outside. Um, this is something that uh, your organization wants to do for you, not to you. Uh, very important distinction. We're not doing a staffing study. We're not reviewing your performance. It is your job that we wish to study, but you help bring this job to life. It provides insight into the appropriateness and competitiveness of our overall salary structure to ensure that we're paying a, a fair and consistent salary for all of our positions. Uh, all positions are included in this review, uh, but it does not replace the annual budget process. And that's very important, I think, to say as well. Very uncommon for us to do a salary survey and turn around and say, hey, give everybody 2% or give everybody 3%. There are going to be instances where jobs are behind market and in order to catch up, we need to do more than two or 3%. That two or 3% to everybody is really kind of the annual process of the budget. Maybe it's your anniversary date or maybe it's when you adopt a new budget year. Uh, this does not replace any of that. This runs alongside whatever your organization does on a regular basis for salary adjustments to ensure that we're being consistent, that we're being fair, that we're being competitive. Your opportunities to participate begin at the classification level. Position classification is the study of jobs. Reviewing job descriptions, there are about 150 or 160 different job titles and job descriptions currently in your system. Uh, our only goal is to make sure that those job descriptions have up-to-date information so that we can make accurate comparisons out in the marketplace. As an aside, we also obviously, like I said, wanna make sure that your job title makes sense and that you are correctly classified onto the right job description out of those 150 or 160 different job descriptions. The PAQ, the Position Analysis Questionnaire, is available as a web-based job questionnaire for you to review your job description. It will also be made available as a Word document, so you can fill it out on a computer either online, on Word, or you can print it out and write it out by hand. We just want everybody to have the opportunity to complete a questionnaire describing their job duties and responsibilities. You can work on these with coworkers. So if there are two or three or five of you that perform the same job and you wanna turn in one questionnaire, again, it is the job that we're trying to study. You can put everybody's name on it and make sure that we classify you all correctly onto the right job title and to the right job description. The questionnaires themselves will take about an hour or two to complete. Um, the due dates may move around a little bit from the time that we've you know, recorded this brief introductory video, but I do have some screenshots, not the whole thing, um, but I do have a couple of screenshots uh, at the end of our presentation here in just a moment so you get an idea of what this looks like and what's coming. Where the study gets equally, if not more interesting, is when we do a salary survey. 
salary surveys are generally done to answer two big questions. Are we competitive? Or do we need to make some corrections in order to be competitive for recruitment and for retention? We'll be collecting job descriptions, organization uh, charts, salary plan documents from probably 15 to 20 other agencies, mostly public sector, but we can include private sector data as well. These will be other colleges and universities, uh, local governments, nonprofits, maybe a little bit into healthcare, local hospitals, that kind of thing. These agencies' data you know, helps us answer these two questions that are on this slide. How are we doing compared to those we're competing with? And where do we need to position our salary ranges and our salaries in order to recruit and in order to retain? Some common outcomes, I mentioned a few. We may recommend some job title changes here and there, cleaning up you know, job descriptions and, and job titles that are in the system to make sure that we have a really good current snapshot of everybody's role and responsibility. And then these last bullet points, looking at pay ranges, making sure that your pay range is competitive. We like to see consistency. So we don't want some jobs to be at 80% you know, of market and other jobs at 100% of market. We wanna be as consistent and as competitive as possible. Uh, a lot of times the study results um, you know, are not you know, these big sweeping salary adjustments for some positions. It is possible that if your pay range moves, we need to move your salary a little bit, but nobody's going backwards. Uh, it's meant to be a very transparent thing. It's meant to be a very positive review you know, as well. Again, it's the job that we're studying. We wanna be able to articulate the market value of the job. And if we need to make changes to that, you could see a, you know, a slight salary adjustment depending on timing for implementation, but it does not replace the annual budget and anything that maybe was already planned for salary adjustments, whether that's July 1 or that's January 1, or whenever your organization you know, considers their budget process. The PAQ will go out uh, as a link in an email. Uh, you'll have an opportunity to view this video probably more than once. Uh, you may be watching it in a group setting now just because we have you as a captive audience. But you can go back and watch this video. The questionnaire that is web-based also has instructions page by page. Um, so you get a, just a little bit of a sound bite so that you know what we're looking for in each section of the questionnaire. It follows a job description format. Hey, how do you summarize your job? What are your job duties? What's required of your position? And that's about it. We're gonna give you a couple of weeks. Again, the, day, the due dates may move around, but let's just say that we're opening up the month of August for you to review your job description and fill out a PAQ, a position analysis questionnaire. Nobody will change your questionnaire once it's completed. Supervisors, department heads, administrators will have a chance to review and sign off, add some comments just in case you forgot something. So they'll have a little bit of time as well. So work with your local leadership, work with your supervisors, make sure that you have an opportunity to fill out a questionnaire. They'll take about an hour or two. Um, again, you can work on them as a group. When you click on uh, the link, if you choose to create and complete a questionnaire uh, in web version, I wanted to leave just a couple of screenshots on this video so you knew kind of a little bit what it was gonna start to look like, as well as how to save in case you need to stop in the middle of it and come back later. We're gonna pre-populate the drop-down menu so you can find yourself by department, by job title, by name. Confirm your email address, confirm your supervisor's name because the questionnaires will flow to you, they will flow to the supervisor, they will flow to us. If you choose to work on this as a group, you'll have an option to select in the drop-down to kind of tag a friend so you'll see that option as well as make any corrections needed to your title, to your email address. You can add uh, coworkers, if they perform the same job duties and you're filling out a group questionnaire, you'll notice as we get into this down at the bottom of my screenshot here, there are next and back buttons. Use those to navigate through the questionnaire rather than your browser forward and back buttons for now. And I just have kind of one or two more pages here so that you have an idea of where we can start to save the information. Remember what this is for, it is for updating job descriptions. So it starts with a summary statement, usually what's on the top of a job description. What is the role that your position serves? Who are you serving? Are you providing a direct service to students? Are you back of house supporting those that do have that kind of direct or classroom uh, you know, contact with you know, students, those that have business with the college? Uh, overall, give me you know, two, three, four sentences here 
about what the overall purpose of your position is. If there are anything that we need to know or look for out in the market, maybe your job title is fairly unique to your organization. You wanna give us some suggestions and some tips on what jobs to compare your job to out in the market. There is a box here if you wanna you know, give us a couple of notes. Um, otherwise you can leave that one blank. We're not asking you to, to, to do our work for us, um, but sometimes you in your industry know very specifically, hey, I might be called a specialist, but in that organization, the person that does my work is called a coordinator you know, or something like that. Hit the next button down there. And then you'll see, we'll get into the body of the job description. And this is really kind of my last screenshot, but I wanted to make sure that you saw on the top of my, my screen share here, there's a save and continue later button. If you put any characters on this page and then you get interrupted or your workday ends and you wanna come back to it, click that save and continue later. Now that will follow you around from section to section as you complete the questionnaire. When you hit that save and continue later button, you are safe to close your browser. You will get a new email. So as long as your email address is correct when we started out, you will get a new email with a new link and that link will bring you to your progress. So it's very important that you don't go back to the original email because then you'll have to start over or you'll think that you'll have to start over. Don't panic. We will help you out. The system traps your progress as we go. So we can resend a link from the system so that you can pick up wherever you leave off. But if you get through the housekeeping, the page one of a hey, job summary, and we get into job duties and you wanna take some time here, what we're looking for on this page are how you spend your time at work. You know, duties, statements, tasks, functions, actions. Uh, you can look at your current job description if you'd like to get an idea of the type of language. It is not a writing contest. Really what we're looking for here is if there are things that you do every day, if there are tasks and assignments that you have every day, I would write them down on this page. If there are tasks that you perform less frequently but you believe are important, write them down. Just label them for us to say, hey, here's some things I do every day. Here's some things that I do once a week or once a month or even quarterly. Maybe I have a report that I have to complete. But I wanted to show you just a couple of pages from the screenshot. You can save and continue later. Just go to that new link. Go to that latest email in your inbox. We'll work with your IT folks to make sure that we kind of whitelist a couple of the emails that the system uh, might kind of you know, send in just so you don't have to go to your junk mail, that kind of thing. But you'll see an email uh, probably also with a link to this video so that if you want to view that again or anything that you want to you know, kind of see again in my screenshots, uh, the questionnaire runs about five pages, uh, but you do know the answers to all of the questions. Again, here's the initial kind of look at what the email might look like, uh, but you'll see a new email anytime you save and continue later. So at a high level, uh, the, the why we're here part, right, about six months worth of reviewing job descriptions conducting a salary survey, and updating your overall salary plan. Uh, we'll do our best along the way to communicate our study findings and recommendations and uh, bring forth you know, to the board or to their designees uh, wherever we leave off on all of our work. I will thank you certainly for your time in viewing the video. Thank you in advance for completing a questionnaire and participating in the study. We will do our best to communicate all of our progress along the way and uh, hopefully get a chance to see some folks in person uh, during the study as well. Thanks again.